One of the first girls I met here in Orlando, she was doing these certain type of things. And I was just searching on why she was doing this type of stuff. And then that's when... Yo, what is up, AD team? Austin Dunn, I'm back again with another vlog. So today is a nice, beautiful Sunday morning. And we're going to start off by making some blueberry banana protein French toast. Now, this is my first time ever making French toast. I've been on a weird cooking kick recently where I'm trying to cook more and learn new recipes and actually do it. So I'm going to take you along with me today and we're actually going to do it to start the vlog. First meal of the day. In today's video, we're gonna discuss a certain topic regarding something. That topic is how the red pill changed me and my life, guys. So I did a video with a red pill dating coach known as FedEx Fearless a few months back. That video received a lot of good traction and a lot of good comments. And so I figured I'd go deeper into, I guess, me personally and what it has done for me. The first thing is let's talk about what the red pill is, which we discussed in that video. And um, a lot of comments suggested this too, but to me, it means just overall not being naive to the world, but in regards to females and women, not being naive in regards to females and knowing what their true nature is. Now you see, you see past all the talk of what they say, you just see what they do. And in your head, you know the actual truth. So um, me being red pill has been more about women so far, but I am diving into more parts of it. And like I said, in this video, we're gonna dive deeper into how it changed me and my life. Right, guys so today's Sunday but we still got a work day so today we're doing a few Instagram workouts per usual we're changing it up a little bit we're changing the scenery uh, you guys see here in a minute we're at a new park we're not at the gym or that orange park that you always see so it's gonna be a good one all right so me and my friends have similar interests we're in a working out but little do you guys know Kenneth is also aware on this red pill stuff and I kind of want to talk about real quick how we even discovered this and for me personally it was because for one I've always been interested in the female to male dynamics and relationships a lot of people don't know that about me uh, when I was like 16 17 years old I was uh, researching on you know like the best ways or methods to I guess get girls or like become the best version of yourself and what girls are into but back then back you know eight nine years ago this red pill stuff wasn't as popular but it wasn't until last summer of 2019 when i was dealing with you know one of the first girls i met here in orlando she was doing these certain type of things and i was just searching on why she was doing this type of stuff and then that's when i discovered there's more of this information and channels that have popped up now uh, what, what about you what put you on there man so i went through a really bad breakup going through that bad breakup my heart was broken i was crushed i really wanted to figure out how to get over that breakup as quick as possible you know how to just better myself and, yeah. and how to not have that same thing happen again in a future relationship possibly came across uh, a youtuber steph is cold 
um, and then I watched a lot of his Shout videos. Out, and yeah, he kind of showed me the way and really, you know, through him, I started learning through all the other, um, learned about the other avenues of what Red Pill and was. Then, and then uh, being around me so much, seeing <laughs> the savage shit that I be doing <laughs> and saying sometimes. Yeah. Like, you guys have no idea. You only, you guys only see what's happening on camera, but Kenneth knows the truth. Oh, man. <laughs> this guy has... Oh, no, you can't reveal it. <laughs> Let's get into these workouts. Yo, how you feel, man? Bro, we just got done doing all these different workouts in the hot sun and the hot sand. It went from like cloudy to out of nowhere just the sun's beaming down so that definitely drained me if you can tell how sweaty i am right now we got a little mixture of the sweat alongside with the secret potion but man these workouts are going to change the game for the ig so if you're not following me on ig hey how you doing happy single to mile but if you guys aren't following the ig austin underscore dunham I post dope pictures, dope workouts like you're seeing here. That's gonna help you guys out. Like I said, y'all should be on the fitness game if you're not already. It's gonna maximize you to your best potential. So do it any sort of style. Uh, calisthenics, weightlifting, doesn't matter as long as you're getting it in. But uh, right now, I definitely gotta wash up. I gotta eat something. I'm about to pass out. Let's go. All right, so cleaned up. Rocking the purple do-rag, as you see. Kind of fresh fitted right now and I'm starving, your boy has to eat. So I wanna show you guys this, I don't think I showed you guys yet, but I ended up getting this air fryer and this thing has been amazing so far. So I got it off Amazon and it's called New Wave and I've just been cooking a lot more recently so I figured why not make it even easier for myself by getting an air fryer. And so far it's been pretty, pretty good. I'm eating a lot more cleaner, I'm eating a lot more vegetables if you watch my story. But right now, I really don't feel like cooking, which every now and then I have that, usually on weekends, today, Sunday. And I'm kind of craving a little dessert. So what we're gonna do next is, so Brian has, where's that? There's ice cream right here, right? I got a bad sweet too, so I really want like peach cobbler and ice cream. But if I can't find that, I'm gonna try and get uh, like an apple pie or something. I'm gonna mix it with that ice cream. And then we're gonna run by a little mo shop to get some chicken, rice, and beans with some Chipotle ranch. It's so good. But before I do that, guys, one other thing I realized about, you know, being within this red pill lifestyle and, you know, experiencing it firsthand is that a lot of women, most women, are the same. Once you start dealing with a lot of women, you literally start seeing trends and or things that constantly happen. And instantly off bat, you're like, oh, I know exactly what she's about to do now, or this is about to happen. Over time, you just realize the same stuff happening over and over again. And so from there, you start to realize, once again, the true nature of females, whatever it may be, positive or negative, but it's usually probably gonna be negative. So example, let's say, uh, you're testing a girl and she's starting to take four or five hours to reply, right? In my head, I'm already, this girl isn't as interested as she should be. And through that, that has helped me with going into these other relationships or other girls I may be seeing um, because I've learned these certain patterns and signals that I see from other women, right? And one thing you also realize is that all women are capable of doing bad things or things that you think this certain girl wouldn't do. Uh, never say that in your head because best believe all women are definitely capable of it. Just know that all women are capable of it and even if you see this girl as a superior angel in your eyes, it could switch up in a blink of an eye. So that was definitely a very much needed meal. I just ate so much that this pie over here is gonna have to take a little few hour break before I get to it. But guys, um, if you know us, I'm the vet right now. When I drove to the workout today, I drove the Camaro and I only drive the vet when uh, I'm not working out so that I don't get the seats all sweaty. 
and or weekends when it's nice weather. So as you see, super nice weather out today. Super nice, nice and clear. But I guess another thing I've learned um, is that I realize how much looks, status, and money, kind of, um, on the money part, matters. But looks for sure, right? And I was always aware of this, and through that, I've always been trying to level up my looks. As you know, in the past few years, I, I grew a beard out, and I'm always tweaking ways and figuring out like how I can make myself look better. But from somebody who kind of has all three, not to toot my own horn, but you know, looks, money, status, all of it, I can tell you from my own perspective that it does make a difference when it comes to your personal success with women. And that is why you should always try to become the best version of yourself and try to improve in all the sectors. So leveling up in your money, leveling up in your looks, your status game, right? I'm verified on Instagram. I can give y'all a whole nother video on what it's like to be verified in regards to dealing with girls, right? If you want that, leave a thumbs up on this video and let me know. But point is, keep leveling up, bro. You're gonna get there. Goodie number one. We got goodie number two because I did not. Yo, get out the bag. Come on, man. Goodie number two because I didn't have any caffeine today. I have a weird obsession with birthday cake flavored stuff. I have no idea why. <laughs> but check this out, guys. So look how much these two things cost, right? Hold up, where is it at? Read that number. Is that a sign? I mean, today is Sunday, and the cashier looked at me and she was like, um, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and try this out because this is looking at me, and I'm still, I feel like I still can eat. So we're going to throw out this ice cream right here. What is this, French vanilla? Homemade vanilla? Same thing. For a minute, then we're going to try it out. So I warmed up the peach cobbler. I put it on about 20 seconds to get it a little warm. Then we're doing just a little bit of ice cream. I never eat ice cream, this is so weird for me. So weird, but today I'm feeling different. I'm feeling different. Look at she tripping. I gotta, uh, 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 uh. I'm wearing blue, but I ain't crippin'. Uh. She said I'm chocolate, she get to licking. Uh. Sauce it in the building, y'all wanna see it, but check this out. Bam, I'm about to tear this up. All right, so the last thing I would say that the red pill and this whole entire year after talking with people such as FitX and you know, doing a lot of research is that it's changed my perspective on marriage. Um, I know you guys saw the Q&A with me at FedEx. We spoke about marriage a little bit, and people were kind of saying in the comments that they feel like I'm I'm still wanting to get married and have beta male tendencies or whatever y'all say in the comments from y'all per perception of me on how I portrayed myself in that Q and A. But the truth is, after much research, I don't think I'll ever get married. Kiddo says otherwise; he doesn't think I will go through with it. But I seriously don't think I will. And it's just because I realized that. One, females can change at any minute. Two, uh, I'm a Capricorn, so I'm not sure if you're in astrology, but I'm super, super logical. I'm not really like emotional at all. And so when I say logical, I see the trends of marriage and what's happening with it and the just overall statistics with it and realize that most of them are just setting yourself up to fail. And at this point in time with my success and my greater success, in the next five, 10 years, it's gonna be hard in my opinion to find a genuine woman who has no, you know, ulterior motives in that sense when it comes to my own, you know, life in general. So um, my thoughts on marriage have totally changed. Um, I'm sure you know people who are divorced. Your parents are probably divorced. My parents are divorced. Like, I just feel like it doesn't work out these days. But the issue with that is that America at least portrays that the only way to be happy is to be married and that marriage life is what you should work and aim towards. And so everybody's in that mindset, you know what I mean? Including the females that you see. 
So the only issue I find in the future is finding a female or woman or whoever who will be on par with that. I met like one who says she really doesn't believe in marriage either. But besides that, most girls want to get married. They want to have kids. They want to live, you know, the American dream, that happy lifestyle. And they're going to be in for a rude awakening if it ever gets to that point. But that's pretty much everything the Red Pill has, you know, changed for me in my life and my different perspective on stuff. I'm still continuing to learn more. And I'm actually living this full lifestyle because it is a lifestyle. And you guys will see that in the upcoming videos. But thank you guys for watching this one so far. I'm about to kill this peach cobbler some more. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.